Welcome back to another day. I think it's day 28. Anyway, uh, just wrapping everything up so I could start doing the uh, plywood skin and then I'm gonna fiberglass it and then paint it with a marine top coat by Rust-Oleum. Um, anyway, let's go over some of the stuff I've done today. Um, added in the box, um, transfer box for, uh, for the plug. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I have an inverter and then down here I'm gonna have shore power so i just gotta hook that up as well um basically what i did is i run a 20 amp and a 15 amp breaker so this is a 15 amp that comes in so it's going to only run from here to this outlet here um, when i'm hooked up the shore power i can plug the plug in that runs and pigtails to pigtails to all the outlets in there and click it in there if i'm not where if shore power is available, then I could use the inverter. Um, so I did that so you can't have more than, you know, you're not gonna be running the inverter or shore power, it's one or the other. Um, can't kind of screw that up. And usually when you go someplace, it's one or the other. The 20 amp I did run, sorry for the movement, to the bottom corner right there. And that's dedicated for the air conditioning that I'm gonna put in there. Um, ran one pigtail over there for a 15 amp outlet. So I have one in the front, two, and then I put a third in the back corner there. Um, I felt that was sufficient um, for what I'm looking to do for this. Um, also screwed in the plate, hooked up the inverter, ran the um, MIC tuning voltmeters, one's intake and one's outtake. So. Right now, it looks like it's feeding the system 0.42 amps. Um, and then basically, that's it. Actually, excuse me, running out 0.42 amps. Um, so that's basically it. And then once I plug it in, which I can, which I have a power converter, a power max, which runs. I can do that and it should change. Sorry for all the movement. Bear with me one second. Apologize. You can also see on this solar jumped up to 14.3 charging. And now in here it's 14.3. And that's the uh, intake. Oh, it's hard to read. It's 15, 14 amps. And the outgoing is zero because I have basically nothing running now. Now if I click on the inverter, it usually jumps up. No, nope, didn't do anything. Lights, they basically draw like almost nothing. So it's really hard to, get any judgment also too i have to make sure that's hooked up right when i was doing that the three on the shunts came out but anyway that's one thing i gotta just double check which i don't think is running correctly just gotta tighten everything up here um ran romex cable 12 gauge around sorry for the movement again um and came in through one side goes up it feeds a pigtail and then it runs back. This one's a dedicated line and I'm going to put in here, um, have them run, but I haven't installed them yet because I had to paint a little bit more. It was the, uh, for a USB and a cigarette type plug. Um, inside's pretty much done other than that there. Um, what else did I do today? Hooked up those outlets. Oh, and then I ran, I put insulation board on the top middle but because i had all the wires and everything else i put foam insulation on the top so i figured that was the easier way to go rather than cutting a million different pieces and trying to wrap around plus it would insulate and give the wire something to kind of bounce against or hopefully not bounce against while on the road so i got to hopefully not too much shaving of that to down um hopefully i kept it below the height um of the one inch because what i plan on doing is laying half inch on the top across and then doing one eighth inch on the sides um so a lot of stuff is just a little bit loose it press in so it's not a really a big deal um this is for two side lights i have one here and one up there have that around and same on the other side and then the antenna is going to go up through the top and then basically i could just drill that through here and then it's going to come up underneath. I made a little spot there, so it'll come through and sit there pretty nicely. Um, any questions, just let me know. Uh, thanks for watching. i got to clean up down there because I have um, 
one cable is run for a pump for water pump one is for a fridge and the other one is for i'm going to put a lights underneath here but i gotta want to build the cabinets once the door's on um, just to make sure that there's enough room for sliding and the fridge and everything else so i didn't want to have to do something and then redo it so i figured i'll do that at the end anyway thanks a lot please subscribe any questions just let me know thank you